this is your friendly reminder that not all flanges are created equal. You need to make sure that you're going just on the diameter of your nipple, not the areola, not the size of the breast, and they're not all created equal. Let's say you need a size 19. This is the 19 plastic flange, but it has a pretty steep angle to it. So if you don't have a really pointed cone-shaped breast, this may be the right diameter for your nipple, but it might approach the breast wrong. Whereas something like the Lactec, this is the same diameter, it's an 18 millimeter diameter, so the hole's the same, but you can see the angle of that is much different. It's a much shallower flange. Um, it doesn't have as much of a cone to it, which is also different than when you're talking about a 19 millimeter insert, which fits into your traditional flange. So if you're using a 19 insert on a Medela 24, the circle flange is going to look slightly different than the oval flange. So you can make both of these shrink down to a 19 millimeter diameter, but how they approach the breast is going to be completely different. You can see this one does a little bit more of a soft cup, whereas this is more of a straight cup. And this angle is different than this angle from how that approaches the breast, which is even different than if you put it into a 27 millimeter flange. So some people need a 19 millimeter diameter, but a little bit softer give from that flange insert, which you can get by putting it in an even bigger flange. So just know that not all flanges are created equal. You need to find the diameter for your nipple, but you may need to change the flange to approach the breast depending on your breast size and shape. Now you know.